Welcome to the video, this is Ryan Knows Tech from techinform.us and we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Office 2011 for Mac, PowerPoint. We've looked at Word and Excel, today is PowerPoint. I think tomorrow we're going to take a super quick look at Outlook and some of the other software that comes with the suite, but I'm not very knowledgeable about that and I have to apologize. So opening PowerPoint, I'll try to make this a little quicker than the other videos. Just like the other applications, you've got a buttload of themes here to choose from. You've got different colors. You can go through and see different previews of what each theme is going to look like. Choose your resolution and aspect ratio here. And then the fonts that you're going to be using are also uh, customizable from there. So for the purpose, the purpose excuse me, of this video, we're just going to be taking a look at the, uh, the Breeze template. Of course, we can simplify by uh, other templates over here and themes and whatnot. We'll just be doing Breeze in 16 by 9 right there standard fonts and choose and here we go go ahead and maximize that and here's what we've got over on the left we have our slides it's gonna show us each all of our slides over there this really looks a lot like Microsoft Office 2007 2010 even 2003 click to add our title you can move this around on a Z X and Y scale here you get um, if I go back and I try to move this around you can clearly see that you get those blue bars there and that's going to tell you uh, where the middle is it'll help you organize that neatly up at the top just like the other three applications or the other two applications I'm not going to go through everything as I have with the other two but it's all up here all of your fonts paragraphs insert pictures and text and media and arrange stuff everything that you want to be able to do with your text is up there Co tons of effects with shadows and uh, you know bevel and boss you've got reflections 3D rotations, everything that you're going to need, including transform tools, are up there. Pretty ba or pretty advanced, actually. But, again, real easy to use. Up in the top, just like the other applications, choose what percent you want to view it at. Undo button, cut, copy, paste, save, print, open, you know, save. <laughs> it's all up there. And then on the bottom left, click the big PowerPoint, and there's it, uh, previews your presentation. And obviously, you can see I don't have anything yet. Escape to exit that, and then you can also view your slides as little thumbnails on a whole page like that if you have a crap load of slides. Create a new slide. You're going to do File. Okay, you're going to right hand click over here. New slide. Guess it's not under File. And there's your new slide. Then you can choose here to make a bar graph out of it, put your stuff in, but that's just going to be... Uh, some links to these tabs up here that we'll keep looking at. Themes, if you decided you wanted to change your theme halfway through, that would be real easy to do right there. Tables, just like the other applications. Add, you've got your uh, your stroke options over here, how big you want to stroke, dry, erase, different colors and themes and stuff, easy. Charts, column, uh, line, pie, bar, graph, area, scatter, other, it's all right there. You've got styles and quick layouts as well. Smart art, as we talked about before, make a hierarchy, cycle, process, list, relationship, picture, other. You can put that in here and move it around anywhere you like. Transitions, there's a ton of really nice looking transitions here. We'll go back to the first slide and put some text in here and uh, see what that looks like. The second slide... Channel. There we go. And then we'll put some slides in. So go to the first one. We'll choose how about the cut theme or the cut slide. And the second one we'll do uh, ripple. So then if we come over to uh, the first slide and click the little poster thing and go to the next one, you're going to see that nice ripple effect there. And this is definitely nicer than Office 2010 or anything like that. Uh, I believe you can also drag the effects over here. Uh huh. Go back here. There it is. Works really seamlessly, really easy. And then the effects, as I just said before, are uh, much more advanced, smoother, better graphics, definitely better. And you've got some vortex ones here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the vortex one. That sounds pretty cool to me. You've got honeycomb as well. Um, there are actually, I believe, more than the iWork suite, but the iWork suite, it's just got that Apple flair to it. I mean, that's pretty cool right there, but it's, you know, just doesn't have the apple sparkles and the shimmer and the shine. But this is very nice, nevertheless. Animations, you can do animations on text. If you wanted to bring a text uh, object in or pictures or graph, you can bring that in with a certain entrance effect, an emphasis effect, and an entrance, and a uh, exit, excuse me, effect. Do a start time, 
a duration and then you can have it record if you want to move it around the screen you can click record and then move it and it'll play that whenever you click your mouse you can have it do it when you click your mouse or as soon as you get to the slide so that's great during presentations if you want to talk about one thing at a time you can just hit your mouse or whatever you're using to control it during that during uh, said presentation and it'll bring those elements of text in and bullet points or pictures or graphs again whatever you've got one at a time using whatever effects you specify Slideshow, this is where you're going to either start from your current slide or from the beginning, broadcast or show, presenter view, which is kind of cool. You can record it and rehearse it so you know how, about how much time it's going to take you to do. Some setup tools here, presenter view or mirror show. If you're going to be using two displays. And then when you're done, you can review it, email it, delete, new. Uh, hopefully you don't want to delete it, that'd be sad. Or compare. So easy application, very advanced, but really simple to use. And I think if I could sum up this whole suite, it is very advanced, but very simple to use. Everything is as neatly organized and easily found. I know with previous versions of Word, it was a complete pain. And you've even got a little search box up here. If you wanted to search for something, um, you're going to be able to type that in, and it knows exactly where it is. So that's nice to organize data. Anyways, nice application. I think I would probably use this over the Keynote application for some things. However, Keynote just has that shimmer and shine effect that Apple likes to do with it. And the whole application kind of embodies that from Apple. But this is really quite nice. Again, if I could... Um, summarize the whole suite of software. It's advanced and easy to use and definitely better than I thought and well worth the money. So that is PowerPoint. Thank you for watching the video. I apologize that tonight being Tuesday we didn't get to the live stream tonight. I'll explain that. Being uh, administrator of a website, that takes a lot of time to go through and edit those posts and a lot of those posts need more editing than I hoped. Um, that takes time, as well as running a, three YouTube channels with over 4,500 combined subscribers. That's a lot of people and a lot of comments and a lot of personal messages and even subscribers and friend requests to accept and file away. So I apologize for that, as well as my lovely internet connection has been down over the past few days. So thanks for watching the video. Subscribe if you like the content. Our site, still up right now anyways, is techinform.us. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Business Twitter is twitter.com slash techinformus. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.